Hello everyone, I am Alka193 and welcome to today's Pokemon Vortex video. It is August, it's August 2nd already. I kind of missed the first day uh, in terms of what I'm about to do. But I'd like to try to see where I can get into seasonals. So I'm not going to do like a huge push playing every day with a lot of things, but... I When the Season Battle Tower came out at the start of last month, I did do it for some time. And I actually got a decent amount of points and I enjoyed that a decent amount. And then added to catching some Pokemon maybe that I don't have, doing some hunts. Maybe I can get top 100, maybe not. It's not going to be like a full effort push if I feel like I'm not going in it too far and maybe won't do it. But I like to give it a start and maybe that'll mean some more Fortress videos as well, which you like. Speaking of that, um, if you're interested in any Pokemon Fortress like, live stream on my Twitch in the coming, let's say, two, three weeks, please let me know and then I will do it. But like, it, there needs to be good enough demand for me to do it, and enough people that are saying, like, I want to be there. Because I don't want to stream and not have anyone watch, because I don't find that very fun for Vortex. Like, I need people to be there. Right, let's go to Season Battle Tower and have some battles. Give me some luck, try some random Pokemon. There's a Volvia to see a Sand Dial. I can take that out with Christmas Buddy, because I want Christmas Buddy to have. EXP, I understood from someone who kindly sent me a message because they know how much I care about my Christmas buddy and also that my Christmas buddy is the highest EXP um, just normal Zerk tree in the entire game. They informed me that they were training a bunch of their Ultra Beasts in EXP including a normal Zerk tree and that their maximum goal of what they wanted to get to was more than what I had on mine. So they said if you want, so they basically gave me a heads up, like hey I'm gonna do that soon. If you want to keep your high, your normal circuit is the highest EXP, you probably should go train it. So I'm paying a little more attention to that than before, even though generally I try to in clan battles and uh, season battle tower to give EXP to Chris and Buddy anyway. Even though I don't care too much about um like Maximizing it because I could have probably done this battle with two, maybe three Pokemon. As long as I get some EXP, I'm happy. Chandelier's tree turtle earthquake, that one. They didn't even fire me. I remember I had a shadow mist, but then, like some kind of shadow move that doesn't exist in the game anymore that didn't even work. Because they call it in like fee 3 or something like that. This is a psychic trainer? No, it's not a psychic trainer. It's a psychic first. Ooh, they have a Makira now, interesting. Name's the eruption, the next two. And then I can reverse the last one. Let's go. I saw Vivian and I thought I can find about that, but it's a shiny one. And if I thought about that, I don't deal 500 damage, so that's a no. Eruption, Chris and Buddy can take this one with Solar Beam. Oh, there you go. Um, there, because it's 400 HP, so we just Leaf Storm that. Eruption on you. Just try and figure, finish this off with some Leaf Storms. I wonder how, how, at the end of the video, where I will be in terms of seasonals. Probably not super high. I don't expect to be. I'll probably play for more later. The first thing is another reason why I don't expect to do too well this season. I don't want to make it a big push. If you followed my videos, especially my Twitch streams recently, my partner um, has been here for the past two and a half months. They are leaving next week, Monday. And obviously, especially in general, but especially considering this is the last week, I want to spend as much time with them as possible. So... That's why I'm making some relatively easy videos for me in terms of the Vortex ones. The more longer edits, I tend to avoid. Um, Battle Revolution, the most recent stream I did, gives me videos up to and including the like the Sunday before they leave. So I would have to. I intend to stream Battle Revolution again next week Monday. We'll see how that goes exactly like, once we get to it. Um, but they're leaving. Doesn't allow me to record that many other videos. And because I'm spending a lot of time with them, that also means I can't and don't want to spend that much time on Pokemon Vortex and grinding something like seasonal points. If I wanted to make a really big push to high up in the standings, I would have to do that in a different month. I 
Honestly, Xerneas neutral, I often think is a shiny, but that's just a neutral form that never battles. Why does it have a form that never battles? It just looks different. Like, if Eltal doesn't have his egg form, if Eltal is just if Eltal. A re oh, this is something really exciting. This is the what you hear in the background now. Gen 6 Gym Leader theme. I got the 3DS emulator working. Which means I can do XY, I can do Sun Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire on emulator. Which means I can stream them because I didn't have that possibility before. And I've played through especially Gen 1 through 3 many times. In Gen 4 and 5, 4 quite a bit, 5 as well, a bit of randomizer stuff as well. I, it's been a long time since the last play through any of the Gen 6 stuff. So, it's been really refreshing just to get to... The, I, I think I'm just past Gym 1 on Pokemon X and doing a little randomizer test. Because what I want to do on stream and then have like highlights on YouTube, Pokemon X randomizer. I'm going to mostly use Nuzlocke rules, like only catch the first Pokemon in these routes. However, it's going to be fine with Pokemon Fainting. I'm going to be okay with that. Um, the intention is to have, as with I've done with recent, well, relatively recent, in like the last couple of months, Nuzl uh, like I've done Nuzlocks, but then the random moves they learn are somewhat in order of power. The status moves, such as Sword Stance, Hard and stuff, that's still random when they learn in their learn set, but the power of moves are somewhat in order. So you'll get, if Ember and Thunderbolt are both in a Pokemon's learn set, and it's randomized like that, then Ember will come before Flamethrower. But if they only have, if they have, let's say, Tackle and the Explosion and Dazzling Gleam, then Tackle will come first, then Dazzling Gleam, then Explosion. At least it should be that way. So that way it keeps a bit balanced, and also the randomized Pokemon, you can't encounter Salamence or Palkia or Lucario Route 1. You'll still encounter things like Wormbull and Spiro and Budu. That is how I like to do it. Uh, to keep it somewhat balanced, still very random, very interesting. But at the same time, keep it balanced. And because they take the original Pokemon that they have, let's say the uh, first gym leader in Pokemon X is Surskin and Vivian. Their Surskin is randomized into something that has around the same base stat total as Surskin. And the Vivian is randomized into something that has around the same base stat total as Vivian. And that can be an evolved Pokemon, that can be not an evolved Pokemon. But that's how I, how I like to do it. That's how I like to play. And I intend to, as I said, do a randomizer entire playthrough of Pokemon X or Y. I haven't really decided which one I want to do for the stream. Uh, but play through the entire game. With a few extra settings, because the new... The old Universal Pokemon Randomizer I had only worked in Gen 1 through 5, so that's an up update to the latest version. Like, to get the latest version to be able to do the 3DS Pokemon games. I can do that now, but in addition to that, there's some really cool new things that I can do in terms of specifying more things, even adding more things to the randomization. Like, a Gym Leader, the first Gym Leader in X and Y has two Pokemon, so same for the second one. I can make them have six Pokemon. I can just say every trainer has one more Pokemon. Every trainer has six Pokemon. I can say um, only the the biggest trainers, gym leaders, E4, uh, champion, and uh, t uh, team bosses, they get more Pokemon. I can say all opponents, like trainer Pokemon, have held items, or only their main Pokemon, which is their highest level Pokemon, has an item. I can add a lot of cool things to it. I can randomize Megas. I haven't been able to test that yet, but let's say you have a Metacham and the Metachamite, and you can you can Mega Evolve it, and it becomes a Mega Obama Snow. I want to use that setting just to test it out. I think that'll be really funny. And I want to do bosses, like any kind of bosses. So I'm thinking, so, Gym Leaders, Leaf for Champion, Team Bosses, not sure about rivals. I think I want to. I think, yeah. What I'll do is all the biggest boss characters in the game, give them full teams of six. All the other important characters, so um, team admins, 
um, rival stuff like that. They get one more Pokemon, maybe two. I don't know. And then all the standard trainers just have the stat in them out. And the one the main reason I said I'm using Nuzlocke rules, but it's not a Nuzlocke, is because if my Pokemon faints, I can still use it. That's the only main rule out of the Nuzlocke that I'm taking out. That way, it's still somewhat of a surprise, and you can, you can be excited or not excited about the Pokemon that you catch. Uh, Shiny Claws will still apply. Um, so you can miss out as a pretty cool Pokemon if there's an Axe Shoe on the roots, but you happen to catch a Butterfree. If you want the Axe Shoe, probably. Um, I, I forget where I was going with my story. It, it's Nuzlocke rules, but without me actually losing any Pokemon. So I can shift around. Maybe I can do some like incentives with channel points so you can force me to change and put a certain Pokemon on my team once I've caught quite a few. And I think also that way with the opponents having six Pokemon, that'll be really interesting. Also, one of the new features that I'm really excited about is um, yeah. You know how sometimes gym leaders have their like ace Pokemon. Um, what's a really good example of an ace Pokemon that you don't see anywhere else? Like Vivian. I, I, I think maybe one or two other trainers at some point had a Vivian, but like Viola, first gym leader Pokemon X, has a Vivian as their ace. No other trainer has it, I think. There's a setting where you can make the strongest Pokemon, so the highest level Pokemon of the gym leader, be a Pokemon that no other trainer uses. That can mean, and they end up just having a Metapod, if that's supposed to be early game. But then no other trainer has a Metapod. They must have Caterpie or Butterfree. No one has a Metapod. They might have a, a Aurorus. No other trainer will use an Aurorus, even though Aurorus might be the same base type total as something else that they could use. I'm really excited for that. That is something I intend to do on stream after my partner has left. Uh, they're leaving next week, Monday, so on the 8th. Likely that day, if I feel good enough, because I'll probably be really sad and then angry that they had to leave, and so many emotions. Um, then I'm gonna try and do Battle Revolution that day, maybe that'll help distract me from stuff. And then, in the days following, um, I'm going to have, to go try and start up the Pokemon X Randomizer playthrough. And then YouTube is not gonna see the full VODs, I think, because I don't want my... Um, YouTube channel just be VOD dumps. Um, I do, I will keep uploading the VODs of the part of TakeOver. Speaking of that, uh, later today, as of the, the day of release of this video, I intend to do Partner TakeOver stream and a really long one, many hours. Might be the final Partner TakeOver stream, so if you want to be there live, if we don't finish Hard Gold, uh, maybe one more on Saturday, but we're not really sure on what will be possible uh, yet. Um, I'm a little behind in a sense on uploads, because in I've uploaded both the highlights and the VODs of uh, Part and Takeover up to including number 6, and we've had done 10 streams. It'll be stream 11 um, that we do today. So if you haven't watched them before live, there'll be like a gap and does have to be filled in and stuff we caught. But that is something that we intend to um, intend to be doing. Partner takeover later today. I don't have an exact start time. Maybe I'm, I'm aiming for like around seven, between seven and eight um, my time, which is Central European time. So hopefully you'll be able to be there. I hope I can see you. That'll be exciting. Uh, my partner would probably really like it too. This as a potential final goodbye if they can beat the game. I'd like to see it if a lot of you came by. I would appreciate that a lot. And, uh, yeah, that's about it from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope to see you in the Partner Takeover. Hope to hope you're excited for uh, the Pokemon X Randomizer. I think I, I'm i going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm just really looking forward to it. Just playing through Pokemon X again with some of the new settings. I've tested it a little bit, and it's very fun. So, that's it for me. I'll see you in tomorrow's Battle Revolution video, and hopefully this afternoon. Uh, I mean this evening in the partner takeover and if, if you missed it like the VOD and the highlights will eventually hit youtube but just not right now see you later and make sure you always remember that you are worth it goodbye